Okay, so you're here to install ESP 3D version 3 onto an ESP32 CAM. Uh, you probably might have some of these things already installed, so just check the chapters down below to jump to the section you need to. But we're starting right from the beginning, so you've got nothing at all. You'll be going from where to go. So let's go. Okay, first thing you want to do is go and Google Arduino, and then go to their site and download the app for your operating system so just click on the demo or sponsor it uh, and then just pretty much click through the installer and agree to everything and it takes a couple of minutes to install once that's all done we want to import the uh, boards for ESP32 so just paste that link from the show notes into the um, preferences and then search for ESP32 in the boards manager and just click on install. This will take a while, I think it took me about 15-20 minutes to get all the board details down but once that's all installed you're sort of you've got to go for pretty much any ESP32 board that's of any note including ESP Cam32 what we're using today. So once it's installed just go up to your boards and just make sure under ESP32 there's dozens in here. You just scroll down and find your uh, AI maker, I think it is, AI thinker cam and then you want to download the ESP32 SSD library. Let's just check the show notes for the links for everything of course and include it as a library. Just pack it off your list from your downloads and install it, that installs the library. We also need Arduino WebSockets installed as well. So just Google that one and also that. And same method again, just go through and include the library. Clear from your downloads. Once that's done, we just go ahead and Google ESP3D, change the branch to version three download the entire zip and uncompress it on your drive somewhere where you'll know where it is and then do the same for ESP 3D web UI download it and unzip that as well once it's done find out where you save the download open it up go into the ESP 3D folder and open a sketch and then We've got the whole sketch there ready to go and there's the configuration file there which we'll talk about now. For this configuration file you, you see all the settings for the controller you have for serial ports where it's got a camera and that sort of thing. I was going to go through each step and tell you about it but nobody wants that right. So I'm assuming you have an ESP Cam 32 and so on my Chipno website I'll have the configuration file specifically for that, um, that hardware. But there is a configurator configurator on the um, GitHub for for that, so you can go through and turn things on and off, like um, cameras, serial ports, and, and things like that. But uh, I'm not going to go through it today. Uh, like I say, if you've got the same hardware as mine, just download my configuration H, and it should just work. Once you've done all those steps, all things being equal, uh, you should just be able to plug in your ESP32 CAM into a USB port to program it. So you can get the ESP32 CAM without uh, this sort of piggyback board. You can try and um, use it that way, but just get the, it's like a couple, couple extra bucks, all right? So just get the little piggyback board and plug your USB CAM into that and plug the USB from this into your computer and hit the triangle arrow at the top, which looks like a play button, and start downloading. It takes a little while. All thing, like I say, all things being equal, it should work for me. Um, I did this whole install on a computer which has never seen Arduino or any of this software before. So if you're in the same situation, it should just work. So once it's flashed, you should start then seeing the extra access point on your um, computer called ESP3D, just join um, that network and then you'll be presented with 
this UI where you've got a um, like a purpley folder button with a plus on it just click on that plus and then browse to where you've saved the uh, uncompressed web UI files and choose the file under version 3 dist printer 3d marlin index and open that and up, install it upload it and then click on refresh and the screen will refresh and you will have the new UI and this is uh, this is what it looks like when you first go in so there's no nothing configured yet so we'll okay so next week or next episode depends when you found this episode I'll go through configuring up the UI and getting it sorted out there including polling um, setting up the time-lapse photography and getting the printer progress coming through to the UI as well uh, so what's this all about just if you check this video up here I did a video a while ago or maybe not long ago depends when you saw this video about printing directly to a 3d printer without any cables or any wires this is just a later version of that software the software is an alpha which is before beta so it's probably going to change quite a lot this video might be out of date by the time you see it um, changes will be made no doubt but um, to getting in from the ground level this is uh, how you'll do it so we'll see you next week next episode whatever and we'll go through the finishing off and setting up Thanks for watching.